Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Quill Quickcard, and a welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. I took the liberty of filling up the rest of the map, and I am out looking for the city of Troya. I'm gonna assume that is not the city of Troya. Well, that really only leaves one possible landmass, and that is the one just up here. I am looking for a town of some description. Oh, nope, I'm back in Baron. Troya, Troya. Where might Troya be? Uh, and how am I having so much difficulty finding? Ah! Here we go! Are you Troya? Here we go! Hi there! Welcome to Troya, city of Sylvan Streams. I guess that's going to be our dancing lady for this town. As far as I know, there's not, like, a single accomplishment or achievement or item or reward for seeing all the... all of the dancing girls. I literally think I'm doing it for absolutely no reason. Oh, I'll bet they have really good gear. Actually, not that great. Those are... Those are extremely crappy pieces of gear, actually. Everything past this point in the game, I'm a lot less clear on what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't remember the second, what, about two-thirds of the game quite as well as I remember the rest. But I do know that there's somewhere I want to get to. May I see your member's writ? Okay, I don't have one, but I need to get one. It's, uh... Yes, here we go. 100,000... It's a hundred thousand and I only have ten thousand. Okay. Well, that actually leads to an augment that uh, I really would like to get. Oh god, no. What is wrong with you people? That's an unusual line of dialogue. Alright, so I need to save up a hundred thousand gil. And, yeah, this is basically, uh... What do they call them? I don't know, they have establishments like that in Japan. Where you can basically pay and... I don't know. It's like a brothel, but without the sex. You get intimate company, but, you know. Ooh. High potion. Well, dang. Really do need to get that augment, though. Oh, hello. Oh, you're sunbathing. Okay. Well, apparently, Troya is just kind of a slightly wholesome, decadent town. Hello. Black Chocobo Nursery. Rich soil and ample waters allow us to raise a variety of crops, and growing fresh greens allows us to raise hardy chocobos. That's great. I'm breaking into your back room to steal your stuff. Let's 
Chocobos, Chocobos. Okay. So there's black Chocobos hidden in the forest. And if I get them, I can fly. And black Chocobos traditionally can fly, but sometimes they can only land in forests, which is kind of weird. Well, I think I've done all that I can here, honestly. I do want... to look at something real quick, though. Okay. Yeah, maybe on second thought, going to the castle was a better idea to find the crystal. Cain, what must I do to bring you back to your senses? I pray that Rydia and Edward are safe as well. I say there are chocobos that can fly in the woods around here. The land flourishes from the earth crystal's boons. Intriguing. Now, if only they didn't just use all that to set up brothers. And all the soldiers of Troya are women. This part of the world is very big on uh, the yep tops or some servants. Okay. A survivor of the assault on Damsian was found washed up on the shore. He is recovering within the castle. The man claims to be a prince, although that is not something I am inclined to believe. Well, well, well. It would appear that we have found where Edward might be. So apparently Troya is a matriarchy. Oh my. This is a surprisingly big castle. There's three stairways down in this room. Why? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Was there a way into the wall there? Uh, if there was... I couldn't find it. It's, ooh, treasure, yes. As the protagonist, it is my right and my sworn, solemn, sacred duty to steal anything that is not actually bolted down and to steal anything bolted down, assuming that I get a method to remove the bolts. A ruby ring... Okay, two ruby rings. That's nice. Oh, yeah, there's still the, the treasure vault at Baron, too, isn't there? Uh, once I get this next mission started, I'll have to swing back there and get those treasures as well. Uh, hello? This was once our dungeon, but now it serves as a storage vault for our treasure. I can allow you inside only with the Eptit's leave. No, they did not give me permission. Interesting. Am I sure that there was no way to access the treasure from here? It really does seem like it's trying to let me through there. It may just really be something that I cannot access yet. Oh, there's a... Is that a frog or a kappa in the water? Probably a frog. With graphics like this, you can't exactly make the most realistic uh, frog faces. Why are these people so convinced that Baron is not going to come for them? Like, they've literally seen them attack every other empire in the world. 
and somehow think that they'll be safe. Edward! Cecil! So you survived. Right. I gave him the arrogant voice. You cannot know how I've worried. I... I must fight by your side again. Fight? Fight to stay on your feet, perhaps? Don't be a fool. You need to rest and recover. Tell her you are well, then. Please accept my apologies for what happened to... to Anna. She died because... because of me. Mm. I know Meteor now. It's probably best not to bring that up. No, that I am truly... <coughs> Edward, you mustn't strain yourself to speak. Young, you're alive too. What... what of Rydia? Mm. I could not save her. I see the poor child. Forgive me, all of you are fighting, but I, but, and I but lie in bed. Don't you worry, me and the Enterprise are taking up the slack. We're more useful than you ever were. I hear you whisked your neck for Cecil and Rosa. Now it's my turn. You just leave things to old Sid for a while. You're Sid? Then you escaped with an airship. Wait, Cecil. What's become of Rosa? She remains captive. They've demanded Troya's Earth Crystal in exchange for her life. But the crystal is already gone. Stolen by a Dark Elf. I have literally spoken to no one who has this information. I just sort of got a, I don't know, crystal stolen by a Dark Elf vibe. A Dark Elf, you say? Cecil, I want you to have this. What is it? The only way I can accompany you now. Please, carry it with you. Obtained Whisperweed. Cecil, you must save Rosa. You mustn't make him exert himself. He had a fragile constitution to begin with, and now he's weakened even more. Hence, Edward is bedridden. Well, unfortunately, their crystal was stolen by a dark elf. We don't know how I figured that out, but I did. Do not speak to me as if I were some common grandmother. I am Troya's Lady Chancellor. The ep the epops you'll find in the chamber behind us. Hello. It may not look like it, but this is actually our battle uniform. Oh, crap. Okay. It affords little protection, but it does provide... I was going to say that clearly they're wearing late-game lady armor, where, for some reason, the stats are ridiculous, but the coverage is minimal, but... No, apparently they're just straight up saying that their official armor uniform is just shit. What is wrong with you people? Eight of the Epops, sisters all, stewards of the crystal. Well, clearly they suck at their job if the crystal is stolen. Uh-huh. Yep, crystal stolen. Stolen by a dark elf. Should you enter the lodestone cavern to the northeast with any metal weapons or armor, the magnetic field will render you nearly immobile. That is the big gimmick for the next dungeon. I can't have any metal weapons or armor. And this fits in with Fey uh, lore, where they have an allergy or aversion or otherwise are extremely badly affected by metal. In some myths, it is specifically iron or steel. Usually iron is what you'll find more commonly. 
And they decided to turn that into an annoying dungeon gimmick. So, hooray. Now, unfortunately, that does mean that Cecil is kind of screwed. And I think... Wow. What the hell, guys? You can't just... Turn frickin' Tella to stone like that, okay? It's really rude. So, Sid's already got a wooden hammer. Most of their equipment, unless the ar unless the armlets are counting as metal armor, then they're all fine with the armor that they have now. But Cecil... Cecil's kind of screwed, if I'm being honest here. Uh, can we put him in some alternative armor? Not really. Okay, Sid can get a ruby ring. We can get a ruby ring on Cecil... Wooden hammers, we've already got. Um, these are going to severely reduce my attack. But they may just about be... the only thing that Cecil's gonna be able to attack with. Can I get some non-metal armor for Cecil? Okay. I can get leather clothing, and I can get uh, a feathered cap for Sid. And actually, the leather clothing is an upgrade for Sid as well. Okay. So, Feather Cap. Wow, you're just in prison clothes. Glad I switched you out of that, actually. Alright, Leather Cap, Leather Clothing, and we need to just remove his shield. I'm pretty sure as he is now, he will be able to survive in the cavern without being paralyzed. Old curmudgeon seems he's got his reasons, though. What? Edward survived, but Rydia... Rydia got swallowed by Leviathan. Uh, Yang's worried about Rydia. Oh. We need to go to the end, that's right. Might be worth stocking up on a few things. Gold needles, especially. I do have some Phoenix Downs, so that should be fine. <sighs> Freaking Tella just had to get petrified right off the bat, didn't he? Alright, next stop, the Baron Treasure Vault, just so I can see what's in there. And then... Oh no. That type of enemy right there, they terrify me. The one version of them that specifically terrifies me are called Quarrels? Quarrels? I've never quite known how to pronounce it, but in almost every Final Fantasy game they're in, yeah, they have instant death attacks. And use them a lot. That is why I fear them. Okay, so I'm looking for somewhere... with chocobos, I think? 
Because I need to get into this cave, but there's nowhere I can actually land this. Alright, here we go. Alright, won't let me land there either. So I'm just going to have to make a long march north. It still has landing very, very restricted. Even though, I mean, that would make sense back when this game was, you know, actually just a grid. But when it's not a grid, it's a little more annoying. Alright, Black Chocobo. Here we go. We'll just set you down near the Enterprise. Since this does move faster. And I do want to make that stop in Baron first. Hopefully the treasure vault will prove to be helpful. Ba -da, ba -da -da -da. Hey, guard! What do you have to say for yourself? Mmm. Oh. Never in my darkest dreams did I imagine that a dogster sat on the throne. Oh, really? Yeah! Who could have seen that coming, huh? In bitter watches of the night, I sometimes hear a voice calling from the castle depths. It sounds just like his majesty's. You're all terrible. Uh, when I inevitably become the king of this realm, your asses are all getting fired. Because you are failures. You white mages have anything to say in your defense? Wow. Yeah, every single person involved in the defense and management of this castle, yeah, they're all getting fired. They are clearly utterly incompetent and untrustworthy. They are either so stupid that they never noticed all this was going on, or they have so little conscience that they noticed and did nothing. Both of those options are unacceptable to me. Treasure! Alright, Ether, Unicorn Horn. Please give me something better than this. Phoenix down. Phoenix down. Unicorn horn. Is, is that it? That is the great hidden treasure of the freaking kingdom? Wow. You know what? I, I'm just going to assume that there was better treasure. Way better treasure. Like ancient armors and blades and magical items. I'm going to assume all that stuff was here at some point, but either Cognazo or Golbez took it. Because let's face it, they would be very, very stupid not to take it. So, I'm just going to assume that happened, not that the entire Kingdom of Baron has an incredibly secret, hard-to-reach vault containing, like, Phoenix Downs and Ethers. Alright, Birdie, let's fly. Oh, okay, he's automatically returning to the forest. <sighs> Come back here. Let's go. Hopefully I am right about my equipment selections. The magnetic field in this cave is unbelievable! Better remove all our metal armor and weapons if we want to be able to move in here! Yet my claws don't seem to be effective. Oh, thank God. And we have my magic as well. There's nothing to fear.
Okay. So, Yong and Tella are still considered to be wearing metal. That's an instant kill, I think. Great. Great, and if it fails, it paralyzes you. Yeah, we're running. Alright, so what are Tella and Yong both wearing that could qualify as metal? Uh All right, I think it's the silver armlet. They're both wearing one of those. Let's use one of those unbelievably valuable ancient secret phoenix downs. Alright, my only healer right now... Well, actually, I do still have two healers. Do I have a party set up properly? Yes, I do. Alright. No one's paralyzed. Didn't expect it to be this strong. Can't even use metal equipment. Such a strong magnetic field. Let us pray my magic holds out. It won't. Your max MP sucks. I cannot wield a sword in here. Even metal armor is useless. Swords may not avail us, but I can still use my fists. Yes, you can. Oh, hold on. There's a tiny blip of map there. Yeah, it did not automatically drop you in a location in this dungeon that let you actually finish that part of the map near the entrance. Which is... Are you freaking kidding me? So, Tella's got bluff now, so when it does come time for bosses, I will be able to drop RIDICULOUS power with Tella's magic. Being able to double his intellect is going to be insane. Enemies here are definitely a bit tougher. I think what I'm going to need to do is have Cecil move exclusively onto White Mage duties for this dungeon. Cecil's just going to be the primary healer. And Tele can stick on low-level magic offense. And then that leaves Sid and Yong on physical attack duty. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, how much do your cures hit for at this point? That's going to very much determine my strategy. Are they good enough for group heals? Okay. Less than 200, but around 150. That's not ideal? But it's not too bad, honestly. It'll be enough to keep up with low-grade fights. I do have a good stockpile of potions, and both Tella and Cecil do know Kira, if it's necessary. Tella's stamina continues to decrease. Yeah, Bluff would bring him up to 72 intellect. And he already does ludicrous amounts of damage with his intellect as it already is. <sighs> Damn, that's going to be strong. Alright, what do we got? Oh my god. Can, can we have anything other than these things? Please. God, I hate this type of enemy. They're so annoying. Ah, oh, there's my morning tea. 
delicious. Yawn! There we go. At least Cecil can attack, even if his attack sucks with that shard. It's better than nothing. Alright, dungeon one done. Ether. Okay, that may actually be extremely useful. What I'm saying, there's there's no ambiguity about it. Ethers are always useful. And I think I have quite the stockpile right now. Yeah, I have 12 ethers. That is significant. I'm going to guess this way. Alright. Yeah, I had a preemptive attack and they have already struck me. There are serious problems with this interface. It's a very sad fact that uh, most Final Fantasy PC ports have significant UI issues. In this instance, it's for targeting. Because you're not moving that white cursor around to select your target, Moving left and right only switches from enemy to party. You're going up and down a list. But the problem with that is that there are oftentimes a crap load of enemies and a crap load of party members. And when you are selecting a target, it's not always intuitive how they are arranged on the list. That's just really obtuse. Oh my god. I hate these things so much. Screw it. We're going for a stronger attack. I am sick of these things. Great job, Sid. Your only job is to hit things with your hammer and you couldn't even pull that off. At least Yong is reliable. Not bad. Is this a side cavern? Alright, I have a preemptive attack. And yet, even when you have a preemptive attack, enemies will actually begin moving fairly quickly. Like, yeah, not even every, not even Tella could get off a first tier spell before the ogres started to attack. And I have the battle system set on wait. Like that that is just a fact of how this game works. It takes a while to give out all the commands you need. And in that time, you can get really screwed by the enemy. That's why if you really want to be good at Final Fantasy IV, this version at least, you have to basically memorize your command inputs and you have to be very quick about them. Alright. Treasure room. Do you have anything of use to me? 2,000 gil and an ether. That's great. Uh, can you please give me 100,000 gil so I can get another augment from the... Uh... <sighs> what are those called? Is it like a, a girlfriend cafe? Is that what they're called?
Thank you, Yawn. Your kick is very much appreciated. I hate those things so much. So, one thing that Sid can do is his Analyze ability, which is basically a Libra on every enemy simultaneously, which uh, actually makes it an extremely good augment to get from him. And, of course, if you want all the augments off of a character, you do have to, uh, you know, give them two augments in return. His other ability is Upgrade, which... Let me go into the interface and actually show how that works. It allows him to take those spellcasting items that I've said are useless and apply it to himself, altering the element of his attack ability. Now, Sid by himself doesn't really benefit all that much from the ability. I mean, clearly I'm not having a great deal of trouble, and this is already a part of the game where, like, I am meant to be rather restricted on my options. But, it should not be underestimated. Being able to freely change your attack element is a very useful power against some fights and some bosses. Like, it, it would have been really helpful against, uh, uh, against Cognazzo. But that's assuming that you can get off the upgrade and then wait the turn and then get off the attack. And again, as we saw with Cognazzo, time can be against you in this game. How... Yeah, see, like, right here. I target fire, and by default, it's targeting an ogre. It's not at the top of the list. It's not at the bottom of the list. It's just here, second from the bottom. And if I wanted to target that uh, Kate Seth by pressing, say, right, since it's to the right of my cursor, it immediately goes to the party instead. So if I'm not careful in how quickly I, I do quick inputs, I can end up accidentally targeting my own characters with attacks or targeting the enemies with healings. Cecil, I just went to attack, now it's at the top of the list. Now it's on Kate set. It's just, it's these little bits of inconsistency that bother me. Normally, it's not something I would consider very detrimental. I mean, games have quirks, you learn around them, you get the muscle memory, you move on with your life. But it's a problem in this version of Final Fantasy IV specifically because you are under an active time pressure constantly. That's what makes it so detrimental. That's another map finished, and I will start skipping fights. Three vampire fangs, okay? Who is giving me these rewards? Is the map itself giving me these rewards? All right, here's our save room. That means it's time to drop another one of those uh, tents I'm always carrying around for God only knows what reason. <sighs> drop a save. If the save point is here, basic game logic should tell all of us that the boss room is just ahead. Nope. I have excellent news. One, I won the fight. Two, Cecil has learned the spell teleport. So when I'm done here, I can get the hell out. Also, third piece of good news, I found a treasure room. Bad news, 
Tala just leveled up and lost another point of strength. It went from four to three. Yeah. If I keep leveling that man up, he's gonna die of old age. Nearly done with another map. Actually, I'm gonna leave this fight in because this is a new type of enemy. We've got uh, Mind Flayers. Excellent. I am happy to see these guys. Mostly because it's not those damn cats anymore. Whoa, that was a very significant drain. I do like to leave it in when I find new enemies. Alright, basement three finished, three silent bells. Looks like another treasure hall. Fairy Claws, really? And may inflict Confused status, plus an increase to Stamina. Yeah, I'll take it. Sounds like the sort of thing I want. You know, I finally figured out what was happening with Tella's targeting. When you're selecting magic, he automatically switches to targeting an enemy in the back row. I can't deny that there is some logic in that, but not enough that I think justifies it. Oh, hey, another new enemy. Was I just supposed to be running into these the whole time? Please stop draining my health. Oh my god, you are so annoying. Yon, can you please kick them to the... Okay, they absorb lightning. And I just cast thunder on them. Great. Damn it. How about Blizzard? Okay, well, it hurts. They're not weak against it, but it does hurt. Please kill it. I don't want to look at it anymore. Thank you. Everybody is really starting to take fair bits of damage. Alright, is this progress? It's not progress, but it is a second save point. They must have really, really thought that this dungeon was just going to be way too hard. It's been annoying, but I wouldn't exactly claim it's like some kind of horrible monstrosity. As long as you go in prepared, it's really not bad. Nope, wait, we have yet another new enemy. We have a succubus. That I'm honestly not surprised to see here in the land of Troya. J okay, the succubus absorbs lightning too. That's great. Why not? You know, it, it's one of the most common traits of a succubus, actually, you know. When you think about a succubus, you know, what immediately pops into your head? Uh, you know, beautiful women manipulating men and stealing their souls. Uh, you know, demonic entities. Uh, and absorbs lightning. You know, just one of the most common traits of the common succubus, of course. All right, an emergency exit, so I can get the hell out of here if I didn't know teleport. Map full. A more powerful ether. Whew. 
let's heal up. And here, I can't go left to target all. I have to scroll down or up. Alright. Ether time. Tella, we want you at full. Cecil, we want you at full. Here we go. Using that glorious dark elf design that was used in Final Fantasy 1. I applaud your perseverance, but the Earth Crystal is mine, and I will not surrender it. Your journey ends here. Do you truly think those pitiful weapons of yours a match for my spells? Cecil! Leave this one to us! What, what do you mean, leave it to you? He's my freaking healer! You are dependent on him! Alright, step one. Analyze. Alright. So, I couldn't analyze him. Couldn't hit him. I hit him for one damage. Couldn't hit him. Yeah. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I'm not wasting any resources on this phase of the fight. This entire part of the fight is just here to make you waste your resources for the real battle. I hate when games do that. Come on, elf, do your thing. Fools, behold the power you face! And he drops a Fyra. That hits everybody for thousands of damage. If only I could wield my sword! Yeah, that's not gonna help against 4,000 fire damage. There! Hmm. They're in danger. Edward? Prince Edward, what's come over you? You're in no condition to be moving. You're so terrible. I'll be fine. I, I need only reach my harp. I suppose I could ask you to get it for me. Please, you must return to your bed. You've not regained the strength for such exertion. You can't walk 30 feet. No. I am the only one. The only one who can save them. In that case, I'm fucked. And we can hear it. The sound of Edward's heart began to resonate from the whisper reed. Oh! That beautiful sound! It's Edward's harp! What's this torturous noise? No! No! Strike now, Edward! Or Cecil. He will not be able to maintain the strength of the magnetic field while I am playing. Take up your sword! You will be able to wield it now. Right! And then, thankfully, it does give you a chance to actually alter your equipment. Which is very, very appreciated. And I think I'm ready to go. We're going to bluff Tella and to hit this guy with ridiculous ridiculously powerful spells. So this was the purpose of the Whisperweed. Oh, the magnetic field's been neutralized. Edward's heart bears this kind of power? Yeah, he's honestly that bad at playing. He has literally killed people. 
Thank you, Edward. Now my sword is free again. Ah, how dare you! I will kill you all! Let's do this, Elf. Step one. Gonna drop a Fyra. Cecil is still going to be on healing duty. So now we know that it is weak against fire and light. And Tella has now doubled his intellect. Tella has 90 MP. Tella knows Fyraga, which costs 30 MP. I am willing to bet that I can kill this thing before Tella runs out of MP. Because, good God, this is gonna hurt. Bad. Cecil can also attack for 600 damage. Young is going focusing, so he can knock off a super powerful three focus attack. A buffed Fyraga for 8,029 damage. All right, now the real fight. I need Sid to analyze this again. I do not want to waste. Holy crap, that hurt. Tella, I need you healed. All right, still weak against fire. Now that he has switched form, I can get off my super attack, 2,376 damage. Tella is bluffed again, or yeah, bluffed again. We can drop another Fyraga. Cecil is still on healing duty. Yong can begin focusing again. Tella, I want you to show this thing what another Fyraga can do. Hey, Dark. Okay! Yeah. And he's down again. Literally not even enough time to be healed. God, I hate that. It's it's really disappointing when I have to keep someone with that little health alive. Young, please attack. I'm just gonna have to put you on healing duty, too. Alright, Tella, I want you to bluff. If I get off one Fyraga on this thing, the fight is basically over. Okay, that kills two people. That's really freaking great. <sighs> Come on. What the hell? It can one-shot Tella in the back row with the best equipment I can have for him at this point in the game. If it dark breaths, it just kills Sid again. That is so stupid. So now I'm in a position where I can barely get up any one of my party members. I did not mean to hit defend. There's another dark breath. Okay. So apparently my only hope at this point is to just randomly attack, hope that the damage from the first Fyraga carried over and that it's close to dying. I frankly don't see any other option at this point. And I'm not sure that's true. It may have just reset its health when it transformed. And I do not have the magical force. Well, you know what? I, I mean, I, I can keep this going for quite a while. It's just boring as hell. 
I think I need to wait for a dark breath. I need to get up Tella. And hope that I can... Nope. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna have to drop... Wait, does he not know? There it is. I'm just gonna have to hope I can get off the of Fyra before it attacks. There we go. That was stupid. That was a stupid fight. And literally the only person who gets all that experience is the one person who gets squishier the more it happens. Look at that. Tella goes to level 30. That was that was such an incredibly stupid fight. How did that curse sound reach this place? With the crystal I was to have life eternal! Were you? Really? Thank you, Edward. My god, that was dumb. Let's get the hell out of here. If I had just gotten off that second Fyraga... Okay, won't let me teleport out. Can I warp out? Nope, won't let me warp out. <laughs> Do I have to be out of this room to teleport out? Now I can teleport out. I wish I could tell you that that was the last frustrating boss in this game. But that would be a lie. There are a lot of truly frustrating bosses in this game. And there are some that are going to be a lot worse than that one. Overexerting himself yet again. The Earth Crystal. With this, we could save Rosa. Yeah, and possibly doom the world. How did Edward know of the Dark Elf's weakness? That's a question we're never going to answer. The Earth Crystal. Now to get Rosa back. Yep. It's time to make off with Troya's great treasure. And I will see you all on the next one.